Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to my Skyrim Let's Play series featuring Desdenova. Desdenova is just now beginning the 7,000 step ascent to High Hrothgar, and I just want to give you a little heads up about this episode. Because the Greybeards represent a significant arc in Desdenova's character development, I do plan on role-playing the meeting with the Greybeards pretty extensively, so I just want to give you a heads up of, as to what to expect. Ice Wraith. Can never hit these things. But if it's an Ice Wraith, it's not gonna like Flame Atronach. There's two of them. Is that a wolf or an ice wolf? Well, whatever it is, it's dead. But I would like it... Oh, there it is. Ice wolf. Yes, ice wolves are pretty nasty at this level too. Don't want to underestimate anything. Shit. Alright, I need a tank. Okay, cannot take one of those on head to head. I think I can get a kick-ass corpse zombie out of this. Again, I got a hit. Yeah, okay. That's about as good of a zombie you're gonna get with the um with that apprentice level spell. So let's try to make use of it. Cover some ground quickly here. is. Tell you what, let's save it. Alright, so these emblems are telling me about the Dragon War. Okay, you've got to move. We won't be looting <laughs> the Greybeard stuff because Desinova thinks um, they're pretty cool. Or at least they're worthy of respect. All right. Problem in this snowstorm is a hard time seeing. All right. Uh, these <laughs> snow and ice predators. So we'll let that mountain goat be a radar of sorts. It will get jumped before we do. Alright, pretty uneventful so far. What do we got here? Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Rothgar. Careful with that fire! Uh, what fire? <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. 
All right, who are you? Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. All right, well, you're not much for conversation. I I remember there is a frost troll going to be up here and they're pain in the ass at this level and there he is all right so it's a frost troll Knock. This is the type of creature the sanctuary spell is really good for. They hit hard. So let's take him out the Desnova Nova way. So yeah, this is the point where you want to use a Slay Living spell. And it takes a while to cast, uh, so it's really tricky to get that uh, spell used right. I guess at 5th level when you come up here, that Frost Troll is really hard, but... We are 13th level, I guess it really should not have been that much of a challenge. Um, if there were more than one of them, it would have been a different story. And I don't think there's anything else up here. Looks like it might be something. A cave or nothing. As she climbs these 7,000 steps, Desnova feels as if she's somehow making history. Growing up, she never heard of the Greybeards, and the ancient Nord tongues were, like dragons, just stories from long ago. She enjoys the rush of power whenever she shouts, and she relishes the sight of her enemies staggered by her mighty thune. Probably too much, but in the back of her mind, Desnova wonders why she alone has this power. Is there a part of her past she doesn't know about? Does some higher power have a plan or destiny laid out for her? Her Nordic side believes that being a dragonborn is proof that she is in fact a better Nord than the Cretans who mocked her heritage. Her Altmer side deems that she alone has been given this gift because there is nobody in Tamriel more worthy of it than her. Whatever the truth is, she will only learn it by mis meeting the mysterious Greybeards. The okay, question is, I have the Featherfall spell, so I think I could pretty much jump down. I'd like to land in Iverstead, though. And if I jump down, I'll be on the wrong side of High Hrothgard here. Alright, we'll figure that out after we uh, get into our Monastery. Because I want to be facing west. And their monastery is on the eastern slope here, but I will worry about that later. I'd rather not have to walk all the way down. Speak only in true need, huh? No, we have not been doing that. Alright, 
we won't take the graybeard stuff. We will, however, drop off Klimic supplies. And I usually get a nice little uh, screenshot at this point in the game. Snow's not making it any easier. Maybe when we come out. Dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. What does that mean? You call it when you call, when you call me a dragonborn. First, let us see if you truly are dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. All right. I am Master Angi. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? Alright, well, I'll tell you that. Just, why don't you tell me a little bit about who you guys we are. are. Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar, the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. Alright. I came here because I want to know what it means to be Dragonborn. Well, we are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. So I'm not the only one. You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Akatosh. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. All right. Well, you're here to guide it. Well, let's start learning that. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you roll, the second word in unrelenting force. Roll means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with fus, force, to focus your thum or shot. Roll. Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome.
your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. You're going to stand in the way, aren't you? Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Boy. Master Bori will teach you wolf, which means whirlwind. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori. Rex. Wolf. Now it's your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your. I'm right behind you. Pass through before it. Mastery of a new thum is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. I don't know how I do it. You it were just happened. This gift by the gods for a reason. It is up to you to determine how best to use it. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengrad. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. All right, so I got some questions here, Arngir. Um, why are the... Does no this have anything to do with me? The appearance me? of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely... Bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. All right, I think there's more to this. There is indeed much that we know that you do not. That does not mean that you are ready to understand it. Do not let your easy mastery of the voice tempt you into the arrogance of power. 
That has been the downfall of many Dragonborn before you. All right, so why are they in the Dragon language? Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the Dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a Dragon as breathing or speaking. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth granted us the ability to speak as dragons do. For most people, long years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. But for you, the dragon speech is in your blood, and you learn it almost without effort. All right, so tell me a little bit more about who you guys are. We study the way of the voice, according to the teachings of our founder, Jürgen Winkor. Very few are permitted to study with us here at High Hrothgar. But in your case, Dragonborn, it is a privilege to guide you towards mastery of your voice. All right, so what exactly is this way of the voice? That doesn't sound like the same thing as the shouting. The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinner at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. Is that so? The true mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward action. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. Okay, that sounds like a nice idealistic philosophy, but that's not what Desinova is keen on following, so... What happens if we have philosophical differences? The Dragonborn is an exception to all the rules. The Dragon Blood itself is a gift of the gods. If we accept one gift, how can we deny the other? As Dragonborn, you have received the ability to shout directly from Akatosh. We therefore seek to guide you on the proper use of your gift, which transcends the restrictions which bind other mortals. Oh, so you're not going to try to indoctrinate me into this way of the voice. You are going to respect the fact that I have been given this gift. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, Desinova's liking that. I have one more question. Um, your founder, tell me more about him. He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition and the way of the voice was born. Okay, so we have the origins of their philosophy. All right, I think we asked Arngu here all the questions we need, so we're going to let you go. Sky, got you. Now, all right, how the hell am I going to get down from here? I've never even tried to jump off this mountain. In theory, if I go all the way to the east end, I w I'd still be... No. <laughs> Alright, well, let's just take a little peek what else is around here. What do you got to say, Bori? Apparently nothing. Okay. We'll talk to Arngir then. OK, 
Okay. There's actually a road there? That's not where I want to go. We are in Skyrim. Where is this? Unfortunate, uh, if that building was over here, I'd really like to take that jump. <laughs> All right. Behind you. Looks like I'm going to take the long way down. Which I don't think you guys want to see. So... I'd really like to get a screenshot here that's not in a blizzard, but I will come back to High Hrothgar, so I guess I can get in our time. All right, we're going to pause the game here. And we're back in Iverstead. You there. You're the one they call Dragonborn. Uh, yeah, I am. Your lies fall on deaf ears, Deceiver. The true Dragonborn comes. You are but his shadow. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. That sound like fighting words. Whoops. <laughs> the wrong shout on. That's all right. Right shout and start hacking away at these dudes. Well, I'll be standing against Mirak, but first I'll be hacking away at you. You most certainly are. Hold this. Who is this Mirak? Oh, nice boots. Nice gloves. That's one ugly mask. Those are very expensive robes. Orders, huh? What does this guy have? Quite sure how I got a basket. Call the slaughters. Order the vessel something docked at Raven Rock. Take it to Windhelm, False Dragonborn, Desanova. Boy, Desanova is just, uh, her name is getting around ever since she killed that dragon. Alright, Mirak is not going to be pleased. I'm not quite sure who this... Well, Desanova's not quite sure who this Mirak is. Obviously, he's going to have to be dealt with at some point. But we're here. We've got a Barrow here that we have a uh, Dragon Claw to. So, we'll be doing it right now. We'll worry about Mirak in our time. 